Marvin Gaye. And um, well, I'm going to talk very quickly now because I want to play a, a Raphael Sadiq track. And Chris is looking at his watch and he's been interrupting me all this time, but he still wants to start up past 10. So, JD, just very yes. quickly, and Chris can join in as well. Yes. Student accommodation. Yes. Uh, I think it is a definite topic. It is. It's the biggest topic ever known. Well, would you just talk for two minutes? <laughs> Two and a half minutes. What what your impression is of what what the state of the conversation is at this time? Well, at this moment, that they are going to take over a, an ambulance place on the way up to the second hospital, the smaller hospital, for another accommodation. And I can see this is going to inundate your wonderful city of Exeter. People want, don't want to come here because there's too many students, shall we say, in that sense. But I think we need. We were talking about this yesterday. I think we need an explanation of why they're doing this to how the student is going to be uh, educated in the, in the future. Um, so has the, the pencil and paper gone out and we're now into the digital world? Or are we going, are they actually going to attend the college at all, all costs? But why are we flying people from around the world, polluting the atmosphere, just for education? Well, I think that's a good, a good set of questions. So I think we need an answer to this, so that we, we can, you can use the public, or should we say that those people who live in this fair city, know what exactly is happening. The moment you don't, you just get news saying they're taking over a building, or they're rebuilding a a colossal thing, you know, which is like a skyscraper, which doesn't suit Exeter at all. So an explanation is needed. So can we say that we welcome guests? Yes. Chris, Chris is here. He's he's um. He's he the, he he the guest. He, he's the guest at the moment. Uh, right. So, but if yeah, so basically, if anybody mm -hmm. wanted to come in from planning, yes, uh, planning, or, or even the, even the university, university. Or, and explain to us what mm -hmm. thinks going on. Yeah. And I, I definitely think your point about the digital, yes, uh, is is major because I I don't see any long term projections as to how much education is going to be online, how much is going to be on a campus. Mm. I don't. I don't see any numbers being well, done. We just, we just need a format of what their schedule is. You know, why has this suddenly come? You know, it's not gradual. It's it's in the last year or two, or yes. two years, let's say. Yes. Yeah, so now we know Harlequins is closing down. That's going to be the same thing. So, are we going to lose the actual shopping ability in Exeter, and because it's taken over by students? Well, we'll leave that question hanging there. Yep, that's hanging. We might interrupt, Chris. Yes, I think we should. With, with more about this as he's the show goes on. He's interrupted us, I think we should. He, he has. Yes. But basically, <laughs> if, if anybody wants to come, not come on the show or the We Don't Know show, which is very often on a Wednesday, similar sort of time, uh, guests are very welcome. And this is Rafael Sadiq. <laughs> 